Now back to our main story. The issues around Maria Cajal's case were raised in the Doyle during leaders' questions this morning. Having completed his meeting with Maria Cahill, the Taoiseach entered the Dáil at midday to take leaders' questions. The question on everyone's lips was what was the outcome of that meeting, if any. The Taoiseach had this to say. I had the uh, opportunity and indeed the privilege of uh, meeting with uh, Maria Cahill for the last uh, hour and a half or so. Uh, this is uh, a courageous, confident, uh, brave young woman who is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, she overcame the horror of being raped uh, to face down the IRA, its generals, uh, secret or otherwise. Uh, everybody in this house knows the, the horror of rape. The Taoiseach said perhaps there were questions for the Sinn Féin president. Perhaps when, when Deputy Adams has the opportunity, he might confirm for the people of the country down here whether or not Maria Cahill was required to attend at a meeting with her, the rapist and three other men to discuss this matter. Jerry Adams replied. I have acknowledged that the IRA sought to deal with some cases of abuse when asked to do so by families and victims. While IRA volunteers were acting, in my opinion, in good faith, the IRA was ill-equipped to deal with such matters and IRA actions against sex offenders failed victims. And that is a matter of profound regret for me and other Republicans. Once again, the Taoiseach asked if the Sinn Féin president knew of sexual offenders who'd been moved from the north to this jurisdiction. Will you listen? Will you? Will you? Will, will you? These, these are not nameless, anonymous people. These are decent people. Thank you. Will you meet with them and listen to their version of the story and then make a judgment Thank on you. these matters? The Taoiseach said he would meet with the four people, but he said he wouldn't stand in judgment. Alva Keneally, RT News, Leinster House. And our political correspondent, Martina Fitzgerald, uh, joins me now in the studio. Uh, Martina, the, it was leaders' questions this morning, but of course the questions are really being put by the Taoiseach to Sinn Féin President Gerry Adams. That's right. It was just a different leader answering the questions and some very tense exchanges in the Dáil Chamber uh, today. Very little banter, and that's because of the subject. It's uh, child sexual abuse. It's not the normal political charge. Now, uh, Michal Martin started off by uh, looking back at the various allegations in relation to the Catholic Church, and he contrasted Sinn Féin politicians' reactions to those allegations in the past and their reactions today to the current allegations. Uh, and he also asked about the movement of people who, who were involved in, in abuse. Uh, the Taoiseach, as you saw there, wanted to know, wanted clarity from Gerry Adams about whether Maria Cahill had to face her abuser and three other men uh, as part of an IRA inquiry. Now, Gerry Adams said the IRA was ill-equipped uh, to deal with abuse. He reiterated what he said in his blog on Sunday. He also apologized apologised on behalf as, as leader uh, of Sinn Féin. And as you saw there in Alva's package, he also said that some of the people who took part in that inquiry were decent people, he said, and he said, would the Taoiseach meet them? The Taoiseach said, obviously, he would. But uh, this isn't going away. Eight days after that spotlight programme, it is now the leading issue on leaders' questions. What's the, the, the likely impact of all of this, do you think? And where is it now heading? Well, we're going to have a dull debate that he should confirm today on this issue. Uh, there's also the prospect of uh, some of the people involved coming before the Justice Oireachtas Committee. That has yet to be confirmed, but many members of that committee uh, want it dealt with. Sinn Féin are saying you haven't dealt with other victims' families in other areas. Uh, and, of course, there is always the prospect, and Maria Cahill has uh, mentioned this on numerous occasions, of other victims coming forward. OK, thanks very much indeed for that, Martina Fitzgerald.